Today we are aboard the USS John P. Murtha, and behind me is a mock-up capsule of the Orion crew module, and we are training the team to be ready to do Artemis One recovery operations. My role as the NASA Recovery Director is to lead the interagency team that will recover the capsule. Ever since the Apollo program, NASA and the Navy have worked together to recover NASA's capsules in the water. So one of the huge benefits of working with the Navy is the fact that they're operational and we leverage their core competencies to bring the flight hardware and the crew back safely from the moon. Uh, on the Artemis One recovery day, my job will be to direct the team through the integrated operation to recover the capsule. The ship will get to the recovery location 24 hours before and we will start launching weather balloons. And that data will go back to Houston and it will help inform where we splash down. A couple hours before splashdown, the Navy launches small boats off of the knuckle boom crane and helicopters will take off and they will do their circles in the air and they are waiting for the capsule to re-enter so that they can get good data and photo imagery of the capsule on its way back to Earth. Once that is done and we splash down, we will safe the capsule, approach the capsule, attach lines to the capsule and recover it into the well deck of the ship. Artemis One recovery operations will take about five hours to perform all of the work we need to do because we are gathering data so that we can fly crewed mission on Artemis Two. When Artemis One splashes down, it's gonna be the culmination of all of the hard work that we've put in as a team. It's gonna be an amazing feeling, hearing that we've met Earth's interface and that we can see three good main parachutes. And when we hear splash down, I'm gonna get goosebumps all over me. Hi, my name is Nell Lincoln. I am in eighth grade from Duny Christian Mission School. And my question is, how can the mission to the moon better our lives here on Earth? Thank you. What a good question. Under Artemis, NASA is developing new technologies that support lunar and Mars exploration and can have benefits on Earth. America's lunar investments will create jobs, lead to scientific discoveries and advancements in a variety of new research, and create technologies that benefit both our work in deep space and our home planet. By developing a sustainable presence on the moon, researchers will learn a lot about sustainable agriculture, energy, and conservation practices that can be applied to help life here on Earth. The Artemis program is already an engine of the American economy, supporting over 69,000 good-paying jobs across the country and providing over $14 billion in economic output. The future trips to the moon are made possible with contributions from more than 3,000 industry partners in all 50 states across America. Artemis is strengthening America's small businesses. It's supporting America's universities. It's showing the might of America's scientists, engineers, mathematicians, and technicians. NASA and our partners will go to the moon for the benefit of all to unite the world in the peaceful exploration of outer space. Thanks for the question. Keep sending them in using the hashtag Artemis. The Artemis One mission continues with these upcoming operations. For more on the science of the mission and resources for students and educators, head to stem.nasa.gov slash Artemis. Follow the mission online on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and get the latest updates from the Artemis blog at blogs.nasa.gov slash Artemis. Subscribe for more space.